In the fall of 1922, the African Americans would hide in pots and bend their black bones in shapes that a simple cracker ass couldn't dream of doing in order to fit inside of clay pots to avoid getting lynched. Here's an interview with Negroid, a survivor of the attacks from the white ass. I said, listen here, you goofy looking ass chef boy, RD ass handlebar mustache looking motherfucker, fucking dirty ass overall wearing boy, fucking, yes, my kids go to law school to study becoming lawyers, looking ass boy, fucking cocaine sniff and blow looking ass. I ain't washed my feet, my wife licks em clean looking ass boy, goddamn. Then the cracker ass foo said to his farmin looking ass cliche, I came to California to dig for gold and found my loving wife Sarah, looking ass gang of white ass, I clean my teeth with paint thinner. Dumpster baby with your seven-year-old daughter looking ass white boy white boy, lynch that nigga, then I ran as fast as my big ass feet could allow, dog, yo, you faded. <laughs> you this fool straight up dookied you can smell that shit dog what the fuck dog you where the fuck be some boxers for this nigga camera dog. Wait what the fuck those boxers are blue who the fuck you think I am dog you trying to catch this <laughs> fade. people can't hide their fat egos or black chick asses. The only thing that they're good at hiding are hot cheetos and crabs. <laughs> Send. Dude that was racist and fucked up. Be a little more considerate for the African American. <laughs> oh, was that too edgy for you? <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Son. <laughs> if you're gonna be edgy, don't fucking apologize. If you're edgy, don't be like this, scum. It's just fucking sacred. It isn't just something you can toss around and use like your stepsister's raw pussy in Alabama. Like... Oh! It is great class and skill in order to be used correctly. Some of the gods of veginess have learned that, but some of them have passed out inside of a chromosome ridden ditch, and some others have retorted to making Pokemon videos or squirrel videos, you know. Whichever you prefer. Or, you know, making a documentary about one of the fat Star Wars obsessed bong ridden YouTube channels. <laughs> See, I'm not dissing bongs. It's just a. said the shit at the beginning of the video was because YouTube has finally stopped deciding being a bitch. Now they're finally getting rid of their rules on demonetization, making it to where any of the yellow fucking symbols that gets puked up by them spewed out uh, means that just adult ads will be played on your videos instead. And stay on videos that's Barney's new adventure! I love you. You love me. In your mouth I'm gonna poop. Fuck you, Joe! Barney! <laughs> I love you! You love me! Oh, I give you HIV! <laughs> uh, uh, please, I'm only four! Don't do anything! Thought you'd come here for Filthy Frank Clone Make the Funny, but you actually got schooled, fucker! Tell your boyfriend's wife's husband's daughter that... That by watching my videos you learn, so maybe she'll let you stay up until ten. Her fucking daughter Eleven. is gonna give you commands. Her fucking ten-year-old daughter is gonna allow you to watch my content before you go to bed. You're welcome. Not gonna lie though, cop is scary. Here's a fucking thing I wrote down. I'll display the meme, and I'll read out the caption for you. Don't post 9-11 memes and then try to make your caption an apology. It makes you look like a fucking retard. The only point of joking about this national tragedy is with the intent to offend. If you're gonna post a meme, don't say, I didn't mean to offend anyone, you fucking pussy. It's supposed to be insensitive. Yeah, people died. That's the joke. 
And if you get offended by that, you're the target audience that's too much of a PC analyst that you can't even fuck around and be insensitive without trying to suck up for it. Post the meme and leave it like that. Don't leave an apology wall, because then it makes you look retarded. Oh, I said retarded? Isn't that a fucking no-no word though? I need my record back. I feel so out of place without this video. Then why don't you just chase after Zozo and get it? <coughs> oh, I'm too sick to get it. I'd die. Could you? Perhaps. Hell no, after you possess my body and make it to where I can barely make contact with another human being. You must remember that I'm a part of you now. Even if we get fucking terminated, I'm not gonna leave you. Plus, if Zozo gets his hands on me, we're both dead. You're the only one that can do this. What's in it for me? You're not dying. I'm not gonna die if I don't go after him. You're just gonna complain like a little bitch. And... I'll let you record your own videos. Wait, really? Fuck, let's do this. <laughs> Do you see me fucking laughing, my nigga? I ain't fucking laughing! Shot, two shot, three shot, four. I nutted in, in you whore. <laughs> Almost. 